Hi everyone, welcome in this new episode of Steven's Week. Another week with uh, lots of interesting stuff that happened and uh, let's dive right into the action. First interview that caught my attention was one of the CEO of Sony who said uh, that the end of the smartphone is near. And uh, it's like the end of a, of a decade of innovation. And if you look at the speed of innovation of smartphones today, it's really slowing down. So probably in the next few years, we're gonna have something new. Nobody really knows what the new thing will be, but something new will pop up as the new dominant design and the new dominant interface that we all use. At Samsung, they were thinking at flexible screens, but I don't know what it will be. We'll see more about this in the future. Second thing that I saw is in Estonia. And Estonia is actually the first European country that is making Uber legal. So we got one country in Europe that is saying that Uber is legal. Let's hope many of them will follow. Another interesting message is what's happening in the plants of Mercedes-Benz. And it's really the opposite of what you may expect. At Mercedes-Benz, um, they are replacing the robots by humans. Yeah, not the humans by robots, but the robots by humans because robots are too expensive and it takes too much time to replace them or to fix them when they're broken and humans are a lot more flexible. So we got the opposite thing going on there. I thought this was really funny to read. We've got a new phase in the story between Apple and the FBI. A big win for Apple, where a New York judge actually told the feds that they cannot force Apple to uh, create a backdoor for their security systems in the iPhone. Next to that, uh, we have it, the first accident of the Google car. Uh, in Mountain View, actually in the hometown of Google, uh, it bumped into a bus um, when it was trying to avoid some sandbags that were on the road. So the first accident with a driverless car happened this week. This week we had Super Tuesday and uh, we all know that uh, Trump and Hillary won. Uh, but the fun fact about this victory on Super Tuesday is that the Google search on how to move to Canada just bumped incredibly on Wednesday morning. One of the interesting things this week was that uh, IBM Watson is now cooperating with the Japanese park Mizuho and uh, they are making uh, robots made for customer service. And uh, we all know Pepper, the famous robot that is good in uh, selling coffee machines in Japan, Tokyo. But now this is actually happening in the financial industry. So pretty soon in Japanese banks, we're going to have robots addressing people and they're going to talk like they're really human. And that's what IBM Watson will do. Another great or funny or crazy thing that I saw is that Apple has actually its own support page on Twitter now. And I think it's one of the most innovative companies in the world, Apple, but they're probably one of the last companies in the world that are now joining with this uh, Twitter support system. Big news from uh, Bitcoin, a company called Coinbase, which is the largest platform in the world where you can trade your Bitcoins. Uh, we had the pleasure of visiting them in the past. They launched a debit card today, um, and that means that you can pay now in every US store with a debit card from Coinbase with your Bitcoin. So as from Thursday, you can pay in every store that accepts Visa with your Bitcoins. That's pretty big. Hey guys, this is the end of the week. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, please share it if you did. Um, please subscribe to the channel, and I hope to see you again next week in episode four of Stephen's Week. Have a great weekend, guys. Bye-bye.